It's antique haul time. So if you saw my latest vlog series where my friend Jen and I went to Walt Disney World, we took a day and went shopping at all of the antique malls in the middle Florida area, mainly the ones that are kind of known for having Disney items like the Lakeland Antique Mall and also Forever Vintage. And if you're interested in seeing that vlog where we actually like take you guys around the stores that is going to be linked down below and also up above for you to check out but i bought some things i will say i didn't buy as much as i had originally anticipated as this was definitely a very highly anticipated uh trip to go to these antique malls but i just didn't seem to find the things that i was hoping that i was going to find what we found out was that when you're there if you are a Snow White collector or if you are a Mickey Mouse collector, you are going to hit the jackpot because that seemed to be the majority of what was there or very, very, very expensive items. So one of the two. And plus we had a little bit of an issue because we were very limited in bag space. So it's not like we could bring home these like large pieces that we found like at these antique stores and markets and those sorts of things. So we were definitely limited on space. So we had to make some very, um, very big decisions when it came to the size of merchandise that we were actually able to purchase. Before we get started in the haul, there is a giveaway that is going to be happening. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see the details of that. But Let's go ahead and see what we ended up getting at the Lakeland Antique Mall and Forever Vintage. So starting at Forever Vintage, I only got two items from that antique store. And the first item I'm actually going to take out of the original packaging. Now I know this might trigger some people, but I am one of those people that like things displayed out. I don't buy these things to hold value. I buy them for my collection and I fell in love because there is a combo set of Boo and Lil Mikey and I believe this was from a little combo set that they had from the Disney store but oh my goodness these are so cute so when I was in Tokyo Disney I really wanted a little Mikey but they did not have them in plush form any longer at the time that I went back in 2019 and that's like one of my biggest things that I want to get while I'm in Tokyo the next time but here is Lil Mikey this is the really really small miniature version he has a little Monsters Inc tag that says Lil Mikey and this is Mike Wazowski's plush by the way he's got like little four little legs and arms and he's got his little horns and he's so cute he looks very much like Mike um, from the the head up right <laughs> and then there is the Disney store tag so it is a Disney store combo I don't know if it was a combo purchase at the time it seemed like they were being sold in a package and then here is Boo. I'm not as fond of Boo the doll as I am of little Mikey but that's okay. I actually do not have anything in my collection that is Boo and here is Boo's little tag and it does say Disney Store on the back. She does very much look like kind of like a Barbie doll type of face. But that combination was $12. Now I will say I did see that I, I did see these two plushes available at the Lakeland Antique Mall for significantly cheaper but I had already purchased them at Forever Vintage and so it is what it is. But just something to keep in mind, it seemed like the prices at Forever Vintage were a little bit higher than they were at Lakeland Antique Mall. But you really have to dig and find things at Lakeland. So just keep that in mind if you're deciding on going. The next thing that I got, if you don't know this about me, I'm obsessed with patches. I just love patches, especially vintage patches. And I made a complete patch chair. It's a long story. I've always wanted to make a patch chair and I ended up making a patch chair back in 2020. And I will... I will put that vlog above and down below. I just really um, fell in love with this vintage patch. It looks like it is homemade as well. So here it is. This is a very large Mickey Mouse patch. And I'm going to try my best to show you. It looks like it was handmade. It's so cool. It was $6. Let me take the tag off. But I'm going to hopefully be able to show. It looks like it's chenille. There we go. 
so it definitely has that texture like a standard chenille patch it does not have any adhesive or anything on the back it's so old i don't think it, the adhesive would have even worked anyway so i think this is something that i'm going to have to sew on but whew, we love a vintage mickey i am obsessed so six dollars and that was from forever vintage now i think those were the only two things i got there so we're gonna move on to the lakeland antique mall now I did buy two things that were not, were not Disney. So we'll just go over those things really quick. I love vintage -y fun things. Um, this is a pig and I just think this is the cutest darn thing. Look at its butt, excuse me. Look at those cheeks, cheeked up on Tuesday. Love him. I mean, how amazing is this? Overalls, I love overalls. If you've ever seen my fashion, I'm a big fan. Uh, big fan of overalls they're my favorite and so we have this pig that is so happy it's got little glasses on it was this bank was $25 look I know it's not a smart purchase but man is it adorable I also have a couple of vintage banks that I keep down in my laundry room oddly enough I have a yellow cat and I got a yellow pig <laughs> The things we buy, and then I fell in love with this. So in my living room, my friend's grandfather had this old clown in his home and no one wanted this beautiful blown glass clown. And I will insert a picture so you can see it. But when I went to this mall, the Lakeland Antique Mall, they had so many different types of clowns from this same designer, a or artist, apparently it's very popular and I had to get a smaller version so my clown buddy could have a friend. So trigger warning, it's a clown. <gasps> Are we in love? Okay, so this could be like, it, it's got like a flat back so you could actually use it as a dish and it could lay down and hold your peanuts or your M&Ms or you know, whatever. I would probably put Sour Patch Kids in there, honestly. Love me some Sour Patch. Okay, uh, what would you put in this clown? <laughs> <laughs> leave a comment down below okay so here um is this clown I love it it's got a very swoopy fun hair when I was three years old my parents hired a clown named sunshine and sunshine the clown did my makeup did my um face paint and attended my birthday party at a local church and everyone was jazzed that sunshine the clown was there and I feel like this hair really emulates Sunshine the Clown. So shout out Sunshine. Um, I don't know your real name, but thank you for um, hosting my third birthday. Appreciate ya. And how beautiful is this? I mean, it is so pretty. It's got like little sparkles. I don't know how to show it. Yeah, it's got little sparkles in the back. So cool. And it can stand up and lay down, which I think is like so versatile and fun. So this is a Murano. Murano is the style. I think Murano is the location it is made. It's made in Murano and it's general, general, I'm sorry, genuine Venetian glass. And yeah, apparently this is the thing. It was $49. Here we are. <laughs> My clown needed a friend. Okay. And then next, Ooh, we've got so many fun things. Okay. So I bought a lot of little things obviously because we had some constraints with our luggage. So let's start with this. This is a little sun catcher. Now I remember making these when I was a little girl. Um, I mean, obviously not this one, but where you could like paint inside. I'm not sure if this is one of those that you can home make at home, but it definitely has like some fun glitter and um, it's got like this yellow bow and Mickey's holding up a candy cane. Like, yes, it's Christmas, my friends. And I feel that because I'm excited about Christmas too. It is broken. Um, so it, it, the little holder to like hold it onto a Christmas tree is broken. So I'm going to have my husband drill a little hole through the center of that bow. This was $2 and 50 cents. I love something that looks very old and very vintagey. And so this like really spoke to my heart. And so I definitely think I'm going to be using this on the Christmas display this year. So if you're interested in seeing the decorate with me video for Christmas, be sure to be subscribed down below because it's always an, an epic event over here on the channel. I love making the Christmas display. So if you don't know, I am a huge fan of the Little Merms and they had a really fun original Disney store plush that's like in perfect condition and I could not help myself. So she was, I think, $10. Look at her. Wait a second here. 
look at her. <laughs> okay, so number one, she's got amazing hair. So this is definitely like hair that is made out of embroidery thread, which we are so here for. Very luscious, also a lot of it, which we know Ariel has. A terrifying cloth face. I mean, not too bad. She's got really fun, perky seashells. We love her for that. And we do have like really pretty little thin accents that are in this really nice shimmer as well as her fin in this nice shimmery color. She does sit pretty well. She's got bean bags in her bootay. And so we're here for it. And I, I think she looks great. And she is extremely reasonably priced for being in such great condition. So you got this girl. There we go. We're gonna have to work on her core strength. You'd think that she would have good core strength. Okay, there she is. I saw this and I just thought it was so cool. So I recently purchased a really fun all over print lounge fly bag that is of the seven dwarfs. I'll pop a picture so you can see it. And I have one dwarf that I just absolutely love. I have a couple of figurines of him and his name is Happy Dwarf. Let me know down below what your favorite dwarf is. But I believe that this is a McDonald's toy. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is a McDonald's toy. And this was $4.95. And this is like a little bag clip. And it's little Happy Dwarf. And on the little apple, it says Happy. And it's got a really cute little bag clip. And the bag clip almost looks like it's like a blue wood, which is really fun. It's very squishy. It's in perfect condition. They had a ton of these. I think I just need to like wash his little nose just a little bit because there's a little couple little scuffs on there. But they had so many of these that you could really choose like which one was the best one. And I did spend a little bit of time trying to find the one that was in the best condition. So I could use it on my new lounge fly and I... I'm so very happy with this purchase. I think it's gonna look great on my bag. And I also got really fun Seven Dwarves ears as well. So I've got like a whole outfit that's really gonna come together and I have a Seven Dwarves cake worthy. I mean, it's, we've got a, we've got a good dwarf outfit going and I am jazzed about it, <laughs> jazzed about it. Okay, so I would love to know if you guys know where this next item comes from. I have a feeling it is a Christmas ornament because it looks like a Christmas ornament to me. However, I'm fine that it's not like, like it's not an actual Christmas ornament. Like it doesn't have a way, it has a way to hang, but I don't know. So this is like a little castle on a cloud. This is a castle on a cloud. I like to go there in <laughs> Anyone else? theater kid okay so <laughs> I'm so sorry guys Jesus okay back to this castle so I think it's first of all absolutely stunning I have two shelves one dedicated to Cinderella castle one dedicated to Sleeping Beauty castle slash Disneyland and I think this could go beautifully on either shelf I believe that this is I don't know. I was thinking it was Cinderella Castle when I first saw it because it does have like a clock. But it doesn't exactly look at, look like it when you turn it to the side. And then I have like the real castle up there, the one that's from the castle collection, and it doesn't really look anything like this. So if you know the origin story of this, if you would please let me know. I think it's beautiful and it's going on my shelf. And I love that it's on a cloud. I just think it's so very creative, so very sparkly, so very fun. And it was three bucks. Super into that. I love that type of price point for something like that. I thought that was amazing. So this was kind of a random purchase, but I have a couple of small things that are dedicated to Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket is my, one of my grandmother's favorite uh, characters. And she always says Jiminy or Jiminy, you know, like as like dang or, you know, something along those lines. So anyway, this very much reminded me of her and I thought it was really pretty. And also J is my initial and they had these tiny little collector's plates. And these are called the Disney Collection Disney alphabet featuring Jiminy Cricket designed by Walt Disney Archives or I'm sorry designed by Walt Disney artists and it's got Jiminy standing on a brick J which I thought was so unique and so very fun and I have a really cool little Jiminy Cricket statue that this is going to go behind and I think it's going to look beautiful this was five dollars and 95 cents 
again, inexpensive and super fun. So I'm really excited to add all these unique pieces to my collection. So this next one, I think this is probably my most favorite thing and I know it's very random, but I am a manager of a construction company and I've been a manager of a construction company for a long time and I've worked in construction my entire career. And construction is very near and dear to my heart. And while we were there, I was really hoping to get a Disney hard hat, like one of the hard hats that they used for the construction of Disney World. I really just wanted a hard hat. And they were so expensive. They were anywhere from $200 to $500 for a hard hat. And I just, I just couldn't justify it. I just couldn't do it. But then I saw this and I was like, you know what? This is almost better than that. And I'm really excited because my company colors are blue and also I have blue accents in my office. And this is an etched construction Mickey Mouse. And I think this is so neat. And let me do a little close up of this. It says Disney mirrored Mickey. That's all it says. This was $15 and it does come out of its stand. Here we go. It's a little bit, oh, there we go. It's a little bit difficult to see, but I'm gonna try to hold it at this angle. So Mickey is wearing a hard hat, which is so cute. He also has a little tool belt on and it's got some nails and it's also got a ruler and a pencil. He's holding a hammer, which is so adorable. And then he's got like his standard little uh, shoes on that he always has. And he's got this like high collared shirt to make it look like he's like a blue collar type of guy. And then the mirrored stand says Disney at the bottom. And this is going to be perfectly displayed in my office. And if you're interested in seeing some of the Disney things that I have in my office, I did do an office tour. I'll leave it above and down below for you if you're interested in seeing that. Here is my little construction, Mickey. I am obsessed. Though I went in like really wanting to get a hard hat, I do feel like I feel very satisfied with getting that because I thought it was a good alternative. Like I thought it was a really good alternative. And then I also love vintage plushes and I am obsessed with Goofy. And they had a really, really cool old Goofy. He was in a protective plastic cover, so I have taken him out. But here he is and he is just so neat. He's actually in very good condition compared to some of the others that I saw from Knickerbocker. So that's the designer is Knickerbocker Toys too, but he's got little fuzzy feet and these jeans. Look at the fun details of these jeans. They're acid wash, goof. We're into it. Look at his little butt. I love it. And they have like fake seams on them. I think it's so adorable. He's wearing a yellow felt vest and he's got like a thermal shirt. Now he does need a little spot cleaning and so I'm planning on doing that now that he's actually out of the packaging. I was kind of preserving him inside. His little, his little nose, and this is what was so important was that his eyes are like a canvas and so I wanted to make sure that on his eyes he didn't have any discoloration or anything like that. And I felt like this was in good condition. And also for how old it is, there's not like an odor, which is nice. He's got his little hat and his hat needs to be spot cleaned. As you can see, there's some issues on the top. And then all of the Knickerbocker toys come with a little hanger so you can actually hang them. I don't think I'm gonna be hanging them up. I think I will just put him over with my plush section. But isn't he the cutest? And he was only $20. $20 for like this really good condition vintage plush, which we are so here for. Let's talk giveaway really quickly. My friends over at Pink Ella Mode sent me this amazing Pixar Merida all over print lounge fly bag to give away to one of you. I am so in love with this bag. And in fact, I'm so, so in love with it that I actually ended up buying one of these bags for myself because I just was extremely jealous of whomever was going to get this bag. And so anyway, one is on their way to me, but I'm gonna be giving this one away to you. But if you're interested in entering to win this beautiful bag, all the information is gonna be down in the description box down below. Also over on my Instagram and my TikTok, we also will have two more bonus entries and probably a few more over the next week. So be on the lookout. We are gonna be drawing names this upcoming Sunday. So anyway, good luck to everyone.
back to the video. So that was my Lakeland antique and also forever vintage haul. I would love to know which of the items that I showed you today was your absolute favorite. And oh my gosh, also I'm gonna be traveling this week, going to Toronto, Montreal, Niagara Falls, down to Orlando. We're going to Halloween Horror Nights and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. If you are interested in following along on our adventures, we would love to have you come along with us. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Miss Jessie Cherry, as well as TikTok, same handle. And that way you can keep up to date on all of the fun things that we are gonna be sharing over that week. I cannot wait to take you guys along. Also be sure to be subscribed because lots of videos are gonna be coming out as well. Thank you again so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.